Kevin, you, you've been in this role before, but um, you guys obviously were down a number of players on defense. Just um, what was it like for you and for the other guys to have to step up and, and you know, and fill those big roles? You know, uh, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's just kind of what we do, right? Um, you know, coach always talk about next man up and, uh, you know, that's something we live by in this locker room. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, uh, regardless of who's down, there's no excuses. You know, we're all bucks and we all got a goal in mind. We all trying to get to that championship. So regardless of who playing, you know, you need to strap the helmet on and, and go. And uh, and I'd be damned if I'd be the, be, be the one that let my team down. You know what I mean? For sure. And, and you're, uh, you know, been around here. And you know what Mike Evans means to this team? Football is an emotional sport, right? I mean, it goes from setting a record to getting hurt. For you guys coming back out there on the field, how difficult was it to get going again? It felt like I know the stadium was was down a little bit after that. I mean, it, it wasn't really difficult at all. It was more so like, you know, we're doing this for him. You know what I mean? Um, you know, regardless if he's down or not, you know, uh, if, if, you know we needed to win this game, uh, get that fifth seed, and, you know, you know, you know, proceed as usual. You know what I mean? And he wanted he wanted to want it any other way. And uh, yep. you know, we uh we finished this thing for thirteen, so thanks, Kevin. I got you. Next is Jenna Lane. Hey Kevin, congratulations first off. Thank you, ma'am. Um how hard was it for you guys? I asked Sean this already, but how hard was it for you guys going back out onto the field as a defense coming off Mike Evans's injury? Uh, I mean, like I was telling him, I mean, it wasn't it wasn't hard at all. If if anything, it was more motivation. You know, what I mean, we gotta we gotta fight for thirteen. You know, um, you know he he comes in every day. You know, when the first one's in, when the last ones to leave, and you know he he works so hard for this and for him to get that record and for something like that to happen. You know, what I mean, like I mean, we all look at each other like, look, let's go, let's do this. You know, what I mean, um, you know, uh, you know, regardless if you come back in or not, like we gotta win this game. And, um, and we, we don't know the status of, of Devin going forward and everything. Right. So how do you approach, you know, this next week and possibly beyond that? How, how do you approach things? I mean, I'm approaching like I'm the starting middle linebacker. I mean, regardless of, you know, you know, if he's up at night, I'm going to be in my book. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm still looking at my special team stuff, too. And um, I mean, I'm, I'm, a, you know, I'm a professional. I'm going to carry myself as such. So thank you. No problem. Uh, Greg Allman. I mean, this defense, uh, twice they got inside the five-yard line today, right. and you guys held them to field goals, especially in the fourth quarter when a touchdown would have put them ahead. What, what, what did you see from this defense to, to kind of step up there when you needed it? You know, resilience. You know, regardless, you know, if, uh, you know, it, you know, it's about, you know, getting punched in the mouth and responding, you know. You know, stuff happens in this league. They get paid, too. You know, there's a very good offense. You know what I mean? Um yeah, MVP caliber uh, quarterback. You know what I mean with some uh, with some weapons and Ridley and AT. I mean stuff happens. You know they gonna make their plays, but regardless, you know we gotta uh, you know we gotta strap it up and we gotta you know we gotta you know, we gotta get after him. I mean, I mean f five yard line or the thirty yard line. You know it, it doesn't matter. Uh, uh, defend every blade of grass. So thank you. No problem. Good time for a few more. We'll go over to Scott. Hey Kevin, congrats on the win. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. I wanted to uh, ask you about this this offense. Uh, you don't have to play them on Sundays. It's the Tampa Bay offense. When you're a defensive player, what is it like when you see this team put up over 40 points per game several times this season, including a couple here in back-to-back -back weeks? It definitely puts a smile on my face. I, I tell you that. Um, and I was I was starting on punt too, so I was like, man, please. <laughs> After the you know the twelve yard drive and the fifteen yard drive, I was like, man, y'all y'all keep y'all keep it going. You know what I mean? I was definitely happy. But uh, you know, it's just starting to see them click. Is it, I mean, it's dope, man. I mean, um, everybody's having fun on that side. You know what I mean? Um, a B. I mean, he he was you couldn't keep the smile off his damn face all game. You know what I mean? He was he was trying to he was trying to get it. You know, and uh, and Rojo. He was running like, you know, he got he had nothing to lose. You know, he was running through people's faces today and you know, and, and Fortnite is Fortnite, you know what I mean? He was he was coming downhill. So I mean it's it's exciting, man. It's you know, 
I, I, I really had to do some extra stretching. I was getting cold on the sideline. You know what I mean? So I, that's I love that problem. You feel me? <laughs> and can you can you speak to to finishing eleven and five? And um, what, what was what was said in the locker room? What did Bruce or, or any of the, the leaders say after today's win? I mean, for the most part, the coaches, you know, was talking about congratulations. We haven't done, you know, this this organization hadn't done this in a while. I think he said fifteen years, and um, but we're not done yet. You know, um, you know, regular season's over with. It's time to, you know, football starts now. It's a whole new season, so it is what it is. Thanks, Kevin. I got you. We'll wrap up with one from Scott Smith. After a rough November for you guys, uh, how has the morale changed in the locker room going into the postseason with four straight wins? Where's confidence like? I mean, it's at all time high. You know, um, well, you know, we obviously got to sharpen some things up. You know, especially on defense, but. We're definitely we're going into this thing knowing that uh, you know that we can be anybody, you know. So uh, that's that's the type of confidence you need going into the you know going to the playoffs, you know. So.